and welcome to another booktube video from me, Lauren from Lauren and the Books, and Minnie from Minnie and the Beautiful Cat. It's girls night, David's out watching football, I've done my hair like a Spice Girl. What have you done this girly night? Did you sit on mummy's lap? There you go, Pusky. She's gone. She's had enough already. Today I thought what I would do, this is an inspir- I've been inspired this video, I've been inspired by Olivia Pope from Reading Like a Mad Woman. She did a video not so long ago, which I will link down below, where she talks about some of her favourite first lines um, from some of her favourite books, or just from some books. And um, it, within that video, she talks about how she sometimes likes to just get books off of the shelf and um, and look at their first lines and then decide whether or not she's going to read them from that or just put that on. And I thought, that sounds like something super fun and something that I've never done before. So what I've done, I basically, I've got 10 books here and I started like here, worked along, worked along, worked along. I've got more bookshelves there. I didn't actually get as far as my library bookshelves um, and just picked off books that I loved the sound of the first line. I thought I would read the first line to you. I don't know why I'm so worn out. I think I'm just excited about the first lines. I thought I would read the first line out to you and then just talk about what I think the book's about or have I read the book or etc etc. So it's a little bit, it's sort of like a hybrid video of the first chapter tag but the first line tag but also with some books that I've actually read off of my shelf so unfortunately like my favourite first lines aren't here because I put a lot of books in storage so that's something I will be doing but these are just sort of a great selection of first lines just sort of pulled off my shelves just as I as I went through. So we'll get started. The first book is Sherlock is... I might have hay fever or something because I'm a bit not snotty, just like just a bit worn out about it. Um, Sherlock is my name, Howard Jacobson, and this is the first line. I really like this first line. Uh, this was sent to me by the publisher, and I haven't got around to reading it yet. It is one of those better to be dead than alive days you get in the north of England in February. The space between the land and sky in a mere letterbox of squeezed light. The sky itself unfathomably banal. I was just like, that's so good, because I, I know those days. Um, this, I believe, is a retelling of The Merchant of Venice. I haven't got around to reading it yet. Um, I bloody love the front cover. I love luminous stuff. It's got a really good luminous spine, and it's got some amazing end papers, which are just uh, black and grey, and then like they've got luminous bits with old Billy Shakespeare on. Um, I just really, really like that first line, and I think a lot of these books in here, when I was going through the first lines, I was like, oh, I actually want to get around to reading that. So that sort of like bumped that up a bit for me. The next one is another book that I haven't read. It is The Luminaries by Eleanor Catton. I actually believe, although I haven't re-watched Olivia's video since I watched, uh, since I watched it, um, she included this in her first, um, first lines video too, so I'll just read it out to you. Uh, again, this is another one that I haven't read, but now having read this first line, I sort of want to read it. The 12 men congregated in the smoking room of the Crown Hotel gave the impression of a party accidentally met. I just think that's great. You can imagine 12 men all in a room in a as a party accidentally met. Yeah, that is great. But it's so big and beasty, isn't it? It's very intimidating, this book. It's like over 800 pages long. Like, this is the sort of book I'd like to take away with me on a nice long holiday somewhere and be like, that is my book for the week and just get on with it. But I just don't get that time to do that. I'd like to go on a nice holiday and just take that away with me. The next book is a book that I shall be reading rather shortly, actually, because I did a video saying that I was going to start reading some Daphne du Maurier. I've read F all Daphne du Maurier <laughs> since I made that video, so I need to get started. This is the first line from Daphne du Maurier's French Men's Creek. Um, I know that she writes, like, really atmospheric um, books set in the southwest of England, and just this first line um, really sets that up for me and makes me think, oh, God, you can just feel how bloody good the description's going to be. When the east wind blows up Helford River, the shining waters become troubled and disturbed and the little waves beat angrily upon the sandy shores. That's just something I want to... That is just, yeah, that just sounds like there is a lot of bloody intrigue going on there. Um, yeah, and I need to get around to read it. I might start with that one, actually. I, I need to read some Daphne Maria. The next first line is from a book that I have read. This is a collection of short stories that I got from Brittany from Under the Radar Books' um, Etsy store. Um, she does Blind Date with a Book, and um, I will link my um, unboxing video from there. Um, and I read this in genre -thon, and it is a really good series of short stories. I really, really loved it. And then the first, the first line really makes me chuckle. Um, it's, it's of the title story, which is Bobcat and um, it's a really short first line and it says it was the terrine that got to me <laughs> which just really makes me laugh because I've been in a situation where I've eaten too much terrine and I've thought that 
it was the terrain that got to me. Um, I love Bobcat. Bobcat, the title story from this selection, is probably my favourite story. Um, I really, really love this collection of short stories and I will definitely be uh, rereading it. But yeah, that was just, I just pulled it off and it really made me chuckle and reminded me of the story and I was like, oh yeah, well, that, that's a good first line. The next is also from a, um, a book that I've read before and it is from Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie's Half of a Yellow Sun. Um, the first line is, um, it just, I just really like it. So here it is now. Master was a little crazy. He had spent too many years reading books overseas, talked to himself in his office, did not always return greetings and had too much hair. <laughs> and I think, I feel like I really like that person just based on that line. Spends too much time reading, has too much hair, reads books from overseas, talked to himself, does not always return greetings. That's just like talking about me. So yeah, I really enjoyed that first line as well. I might have shifted across a bit because I just went to restart the video and I noticed that this sign said Hogwarts rather than Hogwarts. So I've shifted it across a bit. So do not be perplexed. This is happening. So on to the next five books. Uh, the next one is also from a, um, a short story collection that I've also read before. Um, it's Kirsty Logan's The Rental Heart and Other Fairy, story, fairy Tales. I read this at the end of last year. Um, and I really want to read it, reread it again because I feel like I'm going to really appreciate it. Like when I was reading it, it was one of the first short story collections I'd ever read. And um, I just feel like I didn't really... I didn't digest it the way that I do short story collections now and I really want to give it another chance. I loved it, I loved it, and I, but I think it has the potential to, for me to love it even more. So again, this is the, the first line from the title story, Rental Heart, which is the first line in the book. The day after I met Grace, her pierced little mouth, her shit kicker boots, her hands as small as goosebumps writing numbers on my palm. That is a bloody good description of somebody, isn't it? So yeah, I really want to reread this again. Loved it. Uh, and then the next four are all books I haven't read before. I'll start with the only library book that's in here. This is just merely because it was on the table over there. This is a book called Lover by Anna Ravarat. Um, I got this out from the library like four weeks ago and keep renewing it. I <laughs> just haven't even got around to reading it yet. Um, really must get around to it. But I really like the, the first... I, I've not really any idea what it's about. I just really like the cover, which you shouldn't really do, should you? Um, but I really, really like the, um, the first line. It, it really intrigues me. Um... Births, 9. Deaths, 64. Marriages, 12,167. How many girls and how many boys? Pardon me? Of the births, how many girls, how many boys, I say? Hmm, I feel intrigued by that. Uh, the next one is Muriel Spark, The Prime of Miss Jean Brodie, which is a book I haven't read. I got a lovely selection of Penguin Modern Classics from um, David's mum um, for Christmas. I got like seven, I haven't read one. Um, but looking at this first line, I really feel like I am going to um, start with this one. So, and I really love this first line. The boys, as they talked to the girls from Marcia Blaine School, stood on the far side of their bicycles holding the handlebars, which established a protective fence of bicycle between the sexes and the impression that any mo moment... At, and the impression that at any moment the boys were likely to be away. <laughs> and I just remember like talking to boys when you were at primary school and they'd be like mm, too frightened to talk to you and just like could rush off on their bicycles at any time. Um, and I really, really love that first line. That's actually like, when I read that I was just smiling and it was just so evocative as of our remembering what boys are like. The next one, so as I said, the next two are books that I have not read before. This is Ali Smith, Girl Meets Boy. Ali Smith is an author I've read nothing of, which is shocking, um, and I need to amend that. Um, what's this guy in the back? What's this guy? Oh, this is exciting. Oh, I bought this from a charity shop, and in it, it's got a uh, bus and rail journey from Frankfurt to... I don't know where they're going. Marbaweg. Marbaweg. On the 23rd of December 2013. Someone going home for Christmas. Lovely. But anyway, that's not the first line. The first line of this book is... Let me tell you about when I was a girl, our grandfather says. That's good, isn't it? I really want to read that too. This is just like... 10 books. This book I can't read until October. This book is uh, Little Sister Death by William Gay. Um, I got sent this by the publisher. I'm going to be reading this um, as part of my spooky reads in October. Um, so that's going to be my book that I'm going to read in October, a few spooky reads. Um, but yeah, this is the first line. I think it's very, very good. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> I was like, that's not the first line I read earlier. This is the introduction. Here we go. The wagon and team came jouncing and creaking around the foot of the hill and up the dry creek bed, but the portly man in the black broad-brimmed hat and the dark suit didn't know that. 
very good so those are 10 books just off my shelf that I just pulled off as I said just started at the beginning just worked my way through and um, I really enjoyed all those first lines I was just I really enjoyed doing it actually so thank you Olivia for giving me the idea to do that um, and I really really enjoyed doing it have any of you read any of these 10 books that I've mentioned before have any of you got favorite lines of your first books do any of you do this do you like pull books off your shelf and have a look at what first lines are there because let me tell you it's a nice thing to do um, and I was Minnie's coming back Minnie coming back to say bye bye Come back and say bye bye. Come back and say bye bye. You're a beautiful girl, aren't you? And we'll see you again soon for another booktube video. Bye! You're gonna say bye bye. You're gonna say, I hate you, mummy, for picking me up all the time. She's so beautiful. Do you look at that? There you go.